And this is my next step. This is for people that don't have a surgery, so they. Oops. Hey guys. In our last panty video, when I made this comment, I sparked a lot of confusion amongst my viewers, leaving them with a lot of curiosity about how to finish the elastic without the searcher. And you know that I will never leave a friend behind, so let's go! I'll show to you how to sew four different types of elastic on panties without the use of the searcher. First, let's clear the confusion. So I have my elastic, I have my side, I divided by four. We talk about that in the other video. And then I will start by sewing zigzag at the left side. For that, I'm using the zigzag stitch with 2.5 width and length of the stitch. Now I'm going to my table and I will cut the excess of the elastic, but I'm not cutting it just behind the elastic, I'm leaving a tiny bit, probably one eighth or three sixteen of the inches of the material. And then I will go back to my sewing machine and sew it folded. And this time I will set the machine in the three steps zigzag, the C, and then the width will be the same, 2.5, but the length of the stitch I will make it very short, like a one, 1 1.2, more or less. So I will fold my elastic and then I will start by stitching at the edge. I wanna catch probably all the edge or you can even catch a little bit of the outside elastic, but I prefer just to catch the edge, but you can do both. And it's very beautiful, you see? And this is even less bulky than the one with the serger. So let's go to the other one. We did as well in the other video and we just sew it on top and that's it. But let me show you a cleaner way to do it. You are going to pin them together with the elastic just a little above the edge and you are going to pin both wrong sides together. Then I will set my sewing machine in the zigzag B and 2.5 length. And then I will just stitch. I am using black thread on top and gray thread on the bobbin. This is why you don't see. It. And then when that is done, I will go and fold again my material and I will top stitch with the zigzag and that's it. You can use as well the three step zigzag too if you like. And in this case, you will have more or less the same results. It's just that it looks a little bit different. This is with the zigzag and here is with the three step zigzag. They both will work very well. And here you go, our panties and the cats are very happy because we are not putting them through the surgery. Now let's go to this beautiful and sexy panties. You know the drill. Divide by fourth mark. Then you go to the sewing machine and set the machine in zigzag and the width of the stitch in 2.5 and the length of the stitch as well in 2.5 or 2.3. Then I will go to my sewing machine and I will sew the elastic to the right side of the material. The stitches will be more inclined to be at the left. And if you want, you can try the elastic to cover the edge. Or you can do as I'm doing it right now that I'm sewing very close to the edge. And then I'm going to my table and I will cut the excess of material. This way, I feel that I have more control. Now I'm going back to my sewing machine and I will fold it and sew it. And this time I will set my machine with the three step zigzag and the width will be a little bit bigger, 3.5, and you can do even a little more. But the length of a stitch, one, 1.2 more or less. It seems like a normal zigzag, but in three step and it looks very, very beautiful. When I arrive to the red, you can just change your stop thread for red and it looks a little bit more clean and better finished. And these are the results. You see? Let's go to our last type, the fold over elastic. As you can see, this elastic can be folded very easily. 
So we will start to pin our elastic with the good side of the material on top and the elastic underneath. And then we are going to set the machine again with the zigzag and the width of the stitch around 2.5. Then I will go and sew the elastic to the fabric. This is how it looks at the other side. You know, I am trying to keep the fabric within the left half of the elastic, but it doesn't matter. You can just cut the excess after. So this is the elastic and you just have to fold and sew. And this time when I sew, I will sew very close to the edge of the elastic. Sometimes you can make it a little bit over the panties. And here you go, no more cats, but still we can say meow. And here you go, this is how it looks. I love this fold over elastic, it looks very good. And as well, the scallop looks fantastic with the three step stitch zigzag. So guys, I hope that I was able to give you some ideas of how to finish the panties without a serger. And let me know which one you see yourself doing. For more details in how to make panties, remember that I have another video. And in this video, I have a free PDF pattern. And if you want to support me, you can as well go to my Etsy shop. That is link on the description box and buy formal patterns. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!